The Buzz with Jess Lujan. We're in studio with uh, Senator Talina Nelson uh, from the 34th Guam Legislature. We're talking about Bill 50-34, which would be actually be in uh, session agenda for, for this week we discussed. Um, Senator, uh, you know, I, I know, um, unless things have changed, uh, I belong to an organization years back as well. We were a nonprofit, and I know during liberation festivities as well, we were asked uh, if they would be able to use our names uh, or our organization um, as, as an in to, to a booth and you know selling drinks or hot dogs and things of that nature and you know they would give us x amount and they would use you know our our uh, nonprofit status to be able to get in because my understanding is that all booths um associated with the liberation day festivities have to be nonprofit related mm -hmm. okay so and i'm sure that's what happened as well with or is going on with the with the um, casino entity is that a nonprofit was chosen and put together by either a company, individuals, and, and all that. I mean, attaining a casino license is very intense. And uh, like I said prior to going to break, uh, if nothing else, uh, there'll be scrutiny for the continuation on who will be running, who are the principals involved, and whether or not, um, again, they're ups upstanding citizens that, um, that um, we can rely on, <laughs> and we we don't know who they are. I mean, Historic Society is a nonprofit that oversees that, but they're not the money behind it. They're not the individuals behind behind it themselves. They, their their entities being used to get in uh, as a nonprofit to be able to hold it. Yes, I you know, like like I mentioned, I I don't know mm -hmm. who are the specific players, and and um, I think that as a body that we need to really. Uh, you know, investigate on this matter. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, who are these? Who are these uh, mm -hmm. stakeholders or owners? Mm -hmm. And and essentially, where's the check and checks and balances? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this is it's a cash business, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. so sure. it's very hard to track cash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I, I want us to stay focused. On <laughs> you know, absolutely. Okay. Now you uh, we're, we're talking, of course, Bill Bill Fifty. It's going to go up for um, uh, for debate and possibly a vote. Mm -hmm. um, this this week, mm -hmm. you had already you had already mentioned that, um, uh, and we spoke about this on the radio. That should you be asked, or you would not be you would not be uh, a party to a support of an amendment again to delay this mm -hmm. until next next year, twenty eighteen. Right. That's correct. Yeah. Yes. And the reason being, again, as well, I mean, what, if they come to you and say, we already planned, I mean, this is the X amount of money that we're going to, to I mean, that we're, we're looking to bring in, and if we do it now, uh, I'm gonna rec we're going to recommend not to, not to have it. So it's sounding like if, if it passes, the, the, the onus of not having a carnival will, will be on your shoulders. I mean, that, that's what I'm reading anyway. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't know how that would, that would be on, on my shoulders. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, we've had carnivals mm -hmm. without the casino. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people, a lot of vendors mm -hmm. also uh, put up game booths, mm -hmm. a very family-oriented sure. environment. Yeah. Um, they invest in the carnival. Mm -hmm. They, you know, they have your food booths, your game booths, mm -hmm. uh, your various vendors. So to say that, uh, that I am the sole cause <laughs> of not having a carnival is, mm -hmm. is, uh, is wrong, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. essentially. It's, uh, it's, I don't, I, in the history, mm -hmm. in our past, we've had mm -hmm. it, so you cannot blame it on mm -hmm. one person because we pull out a, something that is damaging to our communities. We cannot mm -hmm. survive. It's the other way sure. around. Now, do you, do you know whether or not, because I was confused in this as well, and I still don't have a straight answer, and, and, and you probably don't even know as well. Was there a bid out? Was this, a, I would assume at this point that in order to have a facility out there, you would have had a bid already, you would award it, and you don't just build it and think then they would come. You would have known already that you had somebody ready to go in there to, to run the facility. Mm -hmm. I mean, based on if it, the government really put up the money to, to, to do that. Who was awarded? Was there, was there a bid? Was there a process in, in the process of elimination? And who are, you know, what, what was that process? Those were my, those I, my. I don't know, I don't know. I don't have those answers for mm -hmm, you. Mm -hmm. um, and. I don't believe that the government put up the money to build this casino. Uh, so. yeah, yeah. There perhaps maybe the permit sure, allowed yeah. to build the casino, but 
Uh, as far as the bidding process, it's mm -hmm. uh, it hasn't been revealed just yet. Yeah, well, and that's confusing me because it, it, if it's based on assumptions or presumptions, uh, we're really jumping the gun because you don't know if, mm -hmm. if somebody is going gonna, is gonna to do that. I mean, you may provide the facility. I mean, and, and I, I got to say, that's a, that's a nice building. It's a really nice building. It, 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 it's, it's a lot nicer than a lot of our temporaries. And you're, you're a former school teacher. Yeah. Um, a lot of our, there, it's a lot better built than a lot of our temporary uh, well, school, I went, schoolhouses. Well, I, I went there uh, <laughs> yeah. just to take a look at mm -hmm. the, the, uh, the, shell? the structure, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and uh, it's a very enormous casino, yeah, it's or an enormous building. Nice door, nice golden uh, doors. I, you could fit maybe three household families in mm -hmm. in just that square footage alone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so so for someone to claim in the past that oh we just put up a bunch of tables and you know it's not a big deal, and then you see this immensity, even though it's background with Paseo Stadium, mm -hmm. it's it's an immense building. And if you can fit three families in there, what, what mm -hmm. kind of operation mm -hmm. is really running? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, now I, I mean, I question the fact, too, because when you, when you look at licensing procedures, look like maybe in, in Las Vegas or in, in Nevada, you know, a lot of these facilities, uh, again, casinos and stuff, I mean, they're, they're, you're, the businesses, they're not supposed to be around school or playgrounds and all that. And although the business is maybe a separate entity and doors are locked and all that, you're right in the midst of, of a playground. And, and basically, the business of where they're going to be operating is the business of liberation festivities, carnival, mm -hmm. mostly kids, <laughs> mostly yes. kids. So all that, again, so, so it's not just their business entity, it's the business of what the place is at. It's a, it's a, it's a public park, basically, mm -hmm. you know, and then the carnival itself is, is, is a public place where it caters to a lot of kids. Yeah? Yes.